what is going on guys it is Daniel back with another video and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get max level gear when you are way far away from max level now what I mean by this is that right now I am level 37 and using this method you can get yourself ridiculous gear like what I have in my inventory right now I have a steel helmet and some steel boots I also have a chainsaw an electric prod um, and that's just some of the things that I've gotten from this. Now you might be wondering, oh, it's just a, it's just primitive steel helmet, primitive steel boots. But if you actually type in steel into your engrams and go to the industrial skill, you'll see that you actually have to be level 60 to get steel at all. Uh, and I, I have this at level 37. And the way that I did it was extremely easy to do. So what you want to do is you actually want to come over to Doomlands. Now the Doomlands is the hardest area in the map and it has some ridiculous monsters. Um, this is where you find all your rock golems. There's these minotaurs here. Uh, let's fly around and see if we can't find some more of them. Um, uh, right here there's the three-headed Cerberus dogs. There's these like magma guys that I don't even know. What are you? Fire Elemental. So there's some ridiculous stuff in this place that will kill you in like three or four hits if you're not careful. But what you can do is that you can uh, you can get yourself a terrain on, get yourself a saddle, and empty everything out of your inventory, and you can come over here. And uh, you these things will actually, as you can see right here, they'll all fight each other. Um, these cyclopses are are right now fighting unfortunately just a little spider but what you can do is you can actually just like what I'm gonna do right here you can you can make them angry with at you and then you can fly over a different one for example the Minotaur and are, are you angry with me? Oh, I think he's stuck so let's make the, the Minotaur angry then and you can actually fly them into each other like so and they'll fight each other um, and when they kill each other, they actually still drop stuff, which is ridiculous in my opinion. And the things that they drop are these level 70 stuff. Now, I haven't gotten anything like Ascendant stuff or anything like that from these guys yet, so I don't know how good it is, but I did get a chainsaw. And uh, you can see the three-headed dogs joining on the fight. Everybody, everybody's just getting in, getting in on it right now. Um, and if you look at chainsaw up here... Uh, I think it's industrial. That is level 75 to get the chainsaw. Now I can't actually use it because I need oil, I believe, to go ahead and uh, get the fuel required to be able to use it. But I still got one, which is pretty cool. And it's not a very difficult thing to do. It's not very dangerous. As you can see, I'm just sitting up here above them, uh, you're completely safe. You know, you get a you get a train it on with some decent stamina on it. For example, mine has uh, 765 right now. And you can even, you, they're not, there's not too many of them, so you can land in other places. And then you just kind of sit here and watch the carnage happen. Um, unfortunately, they're all fighting in the water right now. That guy is like swimming. This is an interesting fight. But they just killed something. And there's a chest down there. I'm going to have to be careful with getting this one. Because I have to actually go into the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get this Cyclops to be upset with me. Because I don't want the Cyclops to be near it. What if I give you a little peck? Hmm? You know about me now? Hello? Yeah, he knows about me now. Yeah. Come on up here, dude. And actually, the way that I uh, I figured this out is I, s I was flying over because uh, I was trying to go to find a new um, magic forest. My magic forest, you can't see it because of all of the reward of the daily quest things down in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. But that's where the only... Oh, gosh. <laughs> that's where the only um, magic force that I've found so far. So while I was flying around, I noticed that there was a Cyclops and a Minotaur fighting each other. And I was like, you know what? What if I can get in here and get a cheeky little la uh, last hit to level up? Is this guy upset with me? Is there anybody around me? All right, I've never done one in water before. This could go poorly. I have a feeling this is going to go poorly. Is there anything under the water? doesn't look like it oh there's two chests down here okay that one was not worth it there's another there's another chainsaw though so as you can see you can get some really good gear by doing this um, I don't think I really needed to get another chainsaw but I do have another chainsaw now and then you know you just get back up to your flyer and then you just fly back up and then you can rinse and repeat this as many times as you want to get ridiculous gear 
uh, another chainsaw here. I'm hoping to get a full thing of, of steel armor. Um, I also get these drinks, uh, concentrated fruit juice. I don't know... Here, let me look. Juice. Let's see if it's somewhere in here. Concentrated, that's level 55, okay. So, uh, you can get those. That appear, appears to increase your damage overall. Um, but yeah, you can just, you know, get a pteranodon and get over here, and you can get some really, really good gear. Uh, I'm going to do it a, a one more time here, and then I think I might do it for a little bit, and then show you guys kind of what I have managed to collect while doing this. But as you can see, they e even if they hit you, uh, my pteranodon has 400 health, and it only does about 50 to 60 damage to the pteranodon. Uh, which isn't really that bad when you're when you think about you know only having to you know get close to them once before they'll chase you and then you can draw them into a different creature fly straight in the air to reset their aggro and they will fight each other and then you get their wonderful wonderful loot um i think this is probably going to be patched soon uh because i think that this might be i, I don't know if it's necessarily cheating it is in the game so I don't qualify anything that is in the game cheating. Um, if anything, it would be glitching. Uh, but it is, it is, it does feel a little bit cheaty that you can get all of this late game stuff uh, extremely early. But I mean, it's up to you guys whether you want to take advantage of this or not. Uh, I think a really easy fix that the developers could put in is that make sure that you know you have to get the last hit to actually drop a loot item. Uh, I have tried to get the last hit a couple times on these guys, and I just think they have a ridiculous amount of health, So, and my Tyranodon doesn't do enough damage. So I've not been able to get the last hits on them, unfortunately, but uh, I can still get their loot. And that guy didn't drop anything. But, luckily, the Minotaur won the fight, and there's another Cyclops right here, if he wants to get upset with me. Come on, guy. Yeah. Know about me. Look, I, I got a friend for you. Look at him. He's already bloody. Look how bloody he already is. And they're off. Just like that. It's that easy. And I mean, it's pretty quick. Uh, they, they drop, I, I would say they drop chests about 80% uh, chance. You can get some weird stuff. Like, for example, I got the Bone Ash. Uh, I also got a Sleepy Arrow and a Regular Arrow out of one of them, which was kind of interesting. I find it easiest to do this with the Cyclops and the Minotaurs. But, um, yeah, it is ridiculous how how easy it is to get this 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 really really late game stuff so i think i'm going to do this for a little bit longer to see what else i can actually get out of here and then i'm going to come back uh after i've done this for a while and i'll show you guys you know what i've gotten i just wanted to come back real quick to show you guys this uh we got some fights here so you got a, a 2 one one here for this minotaur this which i'm excited about this minotaur is level 32 i think he might he might drop something really cool for me uh we got a one-on-one -on -one over here and then over here, we've got a fire elemental <laughs> attacking a Cyclops. It's about to have another fire elemental on it, so it's nuts when you when you actually get into this. Um, and also, I wanted to say uh, one other thing. Uh, I'm actually playing on the like lowest difficulty uh, in the game right now because you know it was just coming out. When I play on Arc, I play on a harder difficulty, but uh, it was just coming out, and I wanted to know kind of you know how it would work out for myself. So I I'm actually on the lowest difficulty. So I, I think that if you bumped up your difficulty. You could really... Does this hurt me if I land on it? No, it does not appear to. You could really get some really good stuff. Right there, steel gloves. Look at that. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to a full set of steel. Um, but you could really get some some good stuff, I think, out of this if you played on a harder difficulty. Uh, so I will be back in a little bit when something else happens. All right, let's see what kind of loot we got here. That was that big fight. There's three of them here. Shotgun ammo. Two shotgun bullets. I don't know, about, I don't know how I feel about that. A concentrated fruit juice. <laughs> Two sniper bullets. This is not looking good for me. And another concentrated fruit juice. That one that one wasn't near as good as some of the other <laughs> ones were, that's for sure. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, and we are back. Uh I, I timed myself and I've been doing this for an hour. Uh just kind of flying around. And I managed to get some interesting <laughs> things. So I, I have four chainsaws now. Uh, three of them are primitive and one of them is apprentice so you can get higher uh, like weapon damage or higher higher leveled gear like apprentice and and, and up up from there um, I got some concentrated fruit juice I got five of them total from doing this uh, I got a apprentice pump shotgun um, which is pretty good 
I also got some shotgun ammo and some sniper bullets. Uh, I got steel boots, steel helmet, and steel gloves. This is actually steel bone gloves, which is even better. Uh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, that's steel bone gloves. That's even better. Um, and then I got a the electric prod, which you already saw. I got a primitive bone wand, which is interesting. I'm assuming that that's better than the wood wand. Um, so, yeah, I guess that, that's interesting. Uh, and then I got some bone ash, and I got a primitive wood stick as well, with 103% weapon damage. Uh, yeah, so that was just about an hour. Oh, there's actually another fight happening over here, so we'll see what's in this chest here, if there is a chest even. Is there a chest here? Yes, there's a chest. So we will wait a second for that guy to clear the area, and then we will uh, we'll land over here real quick and sneak a peek. Yeah, we're going to sneak a peek. Let's see what's in here. Anything cool? Another concentrated fruit juice. So if you want juice, this is 110% the way to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, but but if you do this uh, long enough, you can definitely get yourself some really good gear. Um, I mean, like I said, I've only been doing it for an hour, and I've got some, some really good stuff out of this. Uh, if you want chainsaws, this is also the way to go. I don't know why I managed to get so many chainsaws, but I think that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful at all, go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.